Hello, hello, what's up guys? This is Panzer SG here and I'll be playing Battlefield 4 Beta. And this beta has just opened today, October 1st, and it should be going on for the next few days uh, for uh, premium and I can't remember the uh, prerequisites now, but for a select few, you have access to it now. For the rest, don't worry, you have access to the open beta, which starts on October 4th. So it's about three days' time. Now, I must stress that this is the beta. So, beta is beta, and there will be some frame drops, optimization issues, bugs, if we find any, and one more thing any and all things that you see in this video are subject to change so don't take it for granted that this is how the game is going to be be when it launches i believe on the 29th but at least it might give you an idea of what it might be like so just waiting to load in right now this is siege of shanghai which is uh, it actually features China and the U.S. and as as the actual factions, standard conquest mode. And this map is currently the only map available in the beta right now. So when open beta comes, if they're going to add more maps, we don't know yet. But for now, this is currently the only map. But it has almost all of the available uh, modes. As soon as we're loaded in as well, I will be talking about the customization of the loadouts and the actual weapons as well before we, I show you some gameplay. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and we're in. So this is the deploy screen. So it's a full screen map that you can see right here. It looks a little bit like that, you know, satellite imagery and all that. Um, the deployment zone does have this little picture that shows you act it is actually a live feed of what's going on so you can see where the arrow is it's there's a Humvee by the looks of it driving off down there so you can see what's going on so useful feature actually if you wanna know what's going on um, around and if you wanna spawn on a teammate you can actually see what's going on near them you can't look like very clearly but you can have an idea of what's um, around them, so you know you know how hot the zone is when you're gonna load in. So useful feature that. Okay, I'll just open up the customize menu. So this is the assault loadout. I'll just use this as an example. Assault loadout, pretty similar to what it used to be. You have the first aid over here. However, this doesn't work the same way that it did in Battlefield 3. It actually is a single use and it will slowly heal you while on the move as it says in the description but once you take any hits it da it cancels that effect so it doesn't heal you as quickly as it did in Battlefield 3 and any damage you take does stop you from healing so it's a useful thing to know there uh, you still have the M320, you still have the M26 and you, you also have the defibrillators but one thing to note down here you can carry two gadgets at a time so now you are able to carry the grenade launcher or the shotgun or the first aid in the other slot so you could go all out medic and have the first aid kit here and the defibs over here um, or you can have something offensive and something slightly support it depends on your play style um, weapons wise there are two weapons available now in the assault rifle class so that is the SCAR H and the AK-12 you also have carbines available to all classes DMRs and shotguns so if you want to do a little bit of long range sort of stuff you can do that or if you want to go up close with the carbines and shotguns you can do that with any class right now so these are available to all four classes um, 
As far as weapon mods go, you can mod your secondary weapon now. I believe. Yep. You can actually change sights and accessories as well onto your weapons. You, you can also put camo onto your sidearms now as well, which is pretty cool. Although all these do need to be unlocked, so you don't have those straight off the bat. For primary weapons, all the usual stuff that you would expect. Sights and uh, you know, lasers. You can have a green laser sight if you really want to doesn't seem to actually provide any difference so it probably just looks different so it's a cosmetic item maybe and you do also have access to muzzle brakes or flash hiders for your barrel although I'm not seeing suppressors down here so maybe that's not available and you can put a grip on it this comes with it unlocked by by the looks of it um, or you can have the rail. So, yeah. And there does there is actually two different choices of grips. So, um, they seem to provide the same bonus, 50% um, hip fire accuracy. So, I'm not entirely sure exactly what that does, what the difference between these two are, aside from the actual look of it, maybe. And vehicles, you can still mod those, so I won't go too much into that. Just I'll just jump into it and, and um, see how this goes. So from the looks of it, we're getting overrun really, really early, and yes, all the familiar vaulting and all those mechanics are still there, and they're sometimes still just as buggy as they were in Battlefield 3. Um, I was playing a little bit earlier on, and what actually happened was I failed to jump over a railing three times. So, you know, same sort of stuff that used to happen in Battlefield 3, but maybe there's less places where that happens. Oh, and that's the new spotting animation, so if you've seen that video pointed all the things, yeah, that's what it's referring to. He's pointing. Spotted an enemy helicopter. I'm not entirely sure what the relevance is of, you know, pointing at stuff, you know, but, well, there you go. Nifty little animations to make people happy. We have neutralized objective Charlie. I have to wonder though why they gave everyone the laser sight grip and cobra sight right at the beginning. Hmm. I mean it is sort of a demo of what, what the game's gonna be. Maybe that's too enticing. Uh, could it be that they're marketing? in the beta? Well, it's not all that shocking, but hey. But it is still good that even if you don't get all this stuff right, you know, at launch, it's part of your loadouts, you know, at least you gotta try it out. Um, There's this little thing that happens when you go near a wall. Um, it sort of looks like you're leaning. I'm not entirely sure whether that's actually protecting me though. But when you see that and you aim down sights, you actually look around the corner. So, useful stuff. Definitely useful. There's a little cue that comes up as well to tell you that you can do that. You can actually lean. Another new thing that they've added. I tell you what isn't new is my horrible shooting. Um, yeah, one thing if you saw just then, uh, the kill cams also highlight the guy who killed you. 
Um, it's just something new. Not sure exactly, you know, how useful that's going to be, but if you ever wonder, you know, seriously, where you got killed from, well, there it is. And it does actually highlight them really brightly in orange, so. Might be useful for competitive matches, like, um, if you, you know, clan play, maybe, if you want to let your team know with, um, guy, where guys are, it, so I suppose that makes it easier. But otherwise, um, then again, if you were playing at that level, he would have been spotted already, so I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. But definitely for public matches, it does seem to be somewhat... I, I wouldn't say it's, a, it, it's all the way useful. But, you know, have to wait and see to see how useful that actually turns out to be. That is a tank! <laughs> And um, he just drove off the second roof, second floor, so... I've spotted a hostile helicopter. That's determination. <laughs> I'm getting shot at from Objective behind. Bravo has just been neutralized. I don't know. I haven't played Battlefield in so long, so I'm... Pardon my newbies. Oh, look, I got one. I got eyes on a hostile tank. Oh, um... Commander orders also come in, and you'll see the green flashing thing over there. Objective yeah, it comes up in a way that you can't really ignore it. <laughs> it's like seriously noticeable. And, um, yeah, it actually covers your entire screen for a second. Kind of. I, I think that would actually get annoying pretty fast, but. Well, you're supposed to follow orders. <laughs> Oh, there's that sliding mechanic when you when you go prone while running. I don't know if I killed him. I gotta go and check. He's not here. I think I think he got away. Yeah, as far as playthrough videos go, this has to be probably one of the worst. <laughs> but well, you get to see you get to see Battlefield 3, you know so. Oh, um, snipers now went, now leave a vapor trail when they fire, so it makes them a lot easier to spot. I'm not sure that's entirely a good thing, but uh, I thought, you know, I thought the whole point of the sniper was to not be seen. But yeah, so they added that in, so even however well hidden you are, you're going to have to be moving quite a lot. I would imagine, because those vapor trails do give you away pretty easily. But it, it does seem to be on par with um, the scope reflections that Battlefield 3 had, so you know, it did, did make snipers um, visible. The only thing is, that was... Okay, that was a penalty for using, like, uh higher zoom scopes, like the ballistic scope, that actually gave you a much larger scope reflection, but if you use something like an ACOG, you had almost no reflection, so it was sort of a penalty, but in this case, I'm not sure that's balanced in a way, because I could imagine if you have that vapor trail, then it wouldn't really matter, you know, anytime you use a sniper rifle. Um, you do seem to be getting penalized by having that vapor trail, so. But I will try it out later and let's see how that goes. So we're trying to hold this roof up here and I'm not entirely sure exactly where they were coming from. I think it's here. Yes, it's here. Oh look, I got one. But they, yeah, they seem to be coming from the lift. Yes, that still happens. Uh, <laughs> one of the 
I suppose more comical aspects of Battlefield used to be that, you know, you could uh, get a mutual kill where the last shot kills him and you and he kills you. Yeah, that still happens. <laughs> I may have left my squad behind. Ah, they won't mind. Light armor spotted. Now I'm just gonna go over here and try out the RPG on the tank that's below us. And I've got no shot. Not too keen on jumping down there right now. Objective Echo has just been lost. Now this is definitely not what this weapon is designed to do, so <laughs> probably not the best idea I've had in a long time, but well I'm scoring hits, so I've actually got the graphics turned down, so if it doesn't look as nice as you were expecting, it's just my computer is old. Um, I had it on ultra graphics earlier, which was, you know, it looked great. It definitely looked great, just much in the same way that Battlefield 3 looked great when it first came out, too. Um, except that I couldn't walk, like, a, take a step forward without lagging out, so... That didn't help at all. Okay, so spacebar is still parachute. I kind of, I kind of jumped without knowing that, so <laughs> that could have gone really, really badly. Nah, he was waiting for me. But from the looks of it, both sides currently still use the same weapons. I mean, the U.S. assault guys use the. AK-12 um, and MX-4, and it does seem to be the same on both sides, so... Maybe not all the weapons are implemented yet. Just thinking, maybe. Oh. Unexpected chopper gameplay. You just neutralized objective Bravo. I'm just firing there because I remember there were guys there. I don't actually know if they are there. We control objective Bravo. Um, I have eyes on an enemy tank east of your location. I'm trying to hit this guy. Oh well. Okay, so from what I can gather, all the weapons that you're seeing right now are basically demo weapons for what's going to come up in the actual um, launch. Don't quote me on that, I do not actually know that, it's just my own impression of it. And we lost the group. So, yeah, having all the um, gear on it right now is a I haven't actually checked out the support yet to see what it actually has. Now, this U100 looks vaguely familiar, actually, and that's interesting. Yeah, so it actually has a double scope. I'm not sure what you actually call it, but there is an optic and there's a magnifier. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, wait, hang on. No, I do know what that does. Um, so this would be your main sight, you know, your holo or red dot or whatever. 
and this is just a zoom that you can add in. But strangely enough, this is tied together with the laser sight, so, you know. Um, it, it seems to be that you choose between ADS or hip fire because you get to choose between a laser sight and a magnifier from the looks of it. So, yeah. And the standard options of bipod and grip are still here. So, let's try this out. Oh, that's pretty cool. You do g you get a grenade aid launcher, and interesting. It's an air bursting grenade launcher. Gotta try that out. Oh, that is actually one of the new vehicles, the MRAP. Um, we have taken objective Charlie. Ah. No, that didn't work. Having to spawn in a place where you actually are surrounded. Not a good idea. See, that's where this feature is useful, I suppose, because, you know, this guy is kind of sitting there. But the thing is, he's pointed in a, dir in a direction where you have no idea of what's going on. And, um, yeah. Oh, look, there's videos. There's videos in the lift. There are some new voice macros as well, so some of the dialogue may be slightly different. There is Chinese dialogue too. Okay, let me just reload this. I just have to wonder if, um, if the support has the same um, choices as the assault in that you choose between being a supporting guy or you choose between having a damaging weapon, which would be this. Let's see how this works. So this is an IR, and see my pirate there. So yeah, it's um seems to be as like a small scale grenade launcher. You know, like squad caliber. I don't know what you call it, but I, I'm I'm not sure what the the point of that is though. I mean, if the if the assault has a grenade launcher and the and the um, support has a grenade launcher. And the engineer has an RPG. Then... I'm gonna die. But yeah, if they all have some form of launchable explosive, then... Doesn't that open it up to spam? I don't know. Unless these things are not reloadable. Which I can't tell right now. Objective also, your health regen is a lot slower. I've, I've just noticed that it is a lot region. slower. Like, I'm just looking at it tick over right now, and it's actually not as fast. So... But that being said, it was more than I would have expected, given that there are many things everywhere. But yeah, so there... It is definitely, you know, slower than Battlefield 3. So. Again, anything that yeah, I'm saying right now, don't don't quote me on this. I, mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I just missed every shot down there, but I choose to blame the lag. Not sure what happened there. And yes, floating weapons. Remember, beta is beta. It's still glitchy. Um, there's pick upable weapons, I guess. Check the deck has been lost. That seems to be, yeah. This looks to be some sort of rocket launcher. No idea. So I have my main weapon. I have Here's your ammo. Oh, okay. So there's my my ammo. Okay, so you, you you can still carry um, an ammo pack and whatever, you know, 
weapon. Um, what is it? Uh, the XM25. You can carry that plus any uh, ammo pack as well. So if there are any more gadgets, like maybe the mortar or something that's around. All in all, um, it looks promising. Definitely, if you're not sure, you can probably go and check out. I think Nvidia has a testing service to see if your um, if your machine is uh, ready to run Battlefield 4. But you know, it, given this and the Commander mode, which I'll be looking at in another video. I gotta say, you know, it does make Battlefield 3 look even more and more like it was a demo. Because this is basically Battlefield 3. Lost objective Delta. I mean, you know, a lot of people are gonna hate me for that, but it is. It is still Battlefield 3. You still have the same game modes, there is nothing entirely new about the way you play those game modes. The weapons feel pretty similar. Um. But there's more content, like there's there's more factions, like the addition of China, it opens up possibilities for more things. In fact, that's interesting. Um, the recon has the C4. That's not something I would have expected, but there you go. The recon has the C4, and he also has the laser designator and um, motion sensor. Um, this is, I suppose, would function pretty similar to the TUGS from from Battlefield 3, but it's thrown, it's not planted, so it works similar to a grenade. So I think there may be more opportunities for the recon to be a little more offensive in this case. That is a good looking sniper rifle. This looks like it might end up being China's primary sniper rifle, but don't quote me on that because I really don't know what's going going to change for the for the actual uh uh launch. There's also a variable zoom here, so and it does allow for the suppressor. There are two different kinds. See appears to be cosmetic. There is seems to be no difference in the stats, but we shall see. Anyway, something happened to the server just now and um, everybody got kicked out by the looks of it. Objective Bravo has been lost. This is the laser designator, it's the pistol, knife is still the same. Uh, I've yet to try out the counter knifing, or knifing for that matter. I've never been much of a knifing player to begin with, so it's not you know, something that I'm used to, but definitely if somebody tries to knife me, I will try to get a recording of it. Not sure I'm gonna do that, but I will try. And um, yeah, this will be the last class I'm trying out before I wrap this video up. It is, it is actually getting kind of long. Um, but I hope this this sneak peek of the beta gameplay, you know, is useful or entertaining or whatever. You know, if not, then why are you still watching this then? Uh, yeah. I know, I have an expectation for this rifle. I, I'm expecting it to be like the SP-98. I don't know why, I'm just expecting it to be like that, but I have a feeling it won't be. Hostile heavy armor's been spotted to your north. Spotted an enemy so tank. tank. Something just... okay. Something just happened. I mean, I'm not one person to constantly talk about graphics, definitely. But they have definitely done something with the graphics. Even at low quality, I mean, it does actually look better. Oh, yeah, laser designation indicator. It's the same one. 
It's just a lot bigger and easier to see. I don't know, I just have a feeling like, you know, Battlefield 3, they tried to go uber realistic and that's where it kind of fell apart. With Battlefield 4, it just gives you that feeling that they're not taking themselves as seriously, so, you know, bigger icons, more, um, more arcadey sort of look to it, but still having the realistic graphics and, and you know, similar sort of gameplay. I think they're sort of steering themselves away a little bit from the um, hyper-realistic modern military shooter type of game. It is still that ki type of game, don't get me wrong, but you know, they're kind of making it more like a game and less like um, an arcade -y military shooter, I suppose. But this is an interesting thing is that, you know, even when sprinting, there seems to be two different sprinting animations. Um, I'm not sure if that's intentional. Spide an enemy chopper! But, you know, your crosshairs stay up, so. I can actually still shoot while sprinting, so. Well, I mean, not while sprinting, but I'm actually able to sort of line up a shot. Maybe with a different weapon, it might even be possible to, you know, just, I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, it is actually. So it is possible to, you know, fire straight out of a sprint, something that wasn't so easy to do in Battlefield 3, I have to admit. A few times getting killed was, you see the jumping gun. there you go, um, was a little tricky because You'd had to let go of shift, you know, stop sprinting, and then shoot. No, now you can just fire. You can even knife. So, a lot more pace, I would say, in the actual controls. I don't think that the delay is being, it has been removed at all. Like, you still probably have the same sort of delays that you would have had, you know, if you come out of sprint and you shoot. But, from the looks of it, they, what they've done is just made the controls more fluid, so it's uh, just, uh, I suppose, easier to you know, pull off like a twitch kind of shot. All these floating boxes, yeah. Beta is beta, guys. There appears to be enemies behind him. Nope. Can't run away from a tank. And that is actually the Chinese tank, the Type 99, I think. Yeah, I'm just getting lost in this whole um, squad cam thing. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's like he's got a helmet mounted, like a GoPro or something on his head, and he's just running around with it. Interesting stuff. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I am running out of time and possibly hard drive space. And this has been Panzer SG looking at Battlefield 4 beta. This uh, Battlefield 4 is slated for launch on October 29th, if I remember correctly. If you have access to the beta and you're not checking it out, something's wrong with you. But if you don't have access to the beta yet, this is kind of what you might expect um, the game to sort of look like. And you'll definitely, you know, it, it, it's fun. It, it is still, to me, it is still Battlefield. I mean, it is. it still feels the same as Battlefield 3. Some of the controls have been changed around a bit, and definitely the customization system has been changed somewhat, so it's not as, you know, it's not the same as what it used to be. But, that, well, that wraps it up for this video. Um, if you found this video informative, useful, entertaining, or anything, please feel free to like and subscribe, and 
I'll be I'll be bringing you a couple more videos of Battlefield 4 beta and uh, some more MechWarrior online. But if you have any feedback or any other games you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.